One of the most important things you can do is make course navigation clear for your students. Imagine taking over a course from an instructor and finding a stack of handouts, a stack of assignments, and a stack of quizzes. Not a good way to organize a course, is it? Instead, you'd rather see folders for each week or topic of the course that have the relevant handouts, assignments, and quizzes in them. In Canvas, what you do not want to do is go to the left-hand navigation and add all your pages, then add your assignments, and similarly with quizzes and files. What you're doing is creating stacks of material and sending your students on an archaeological expedition to dig out the things they need. Instead, create modules, which are containers, for each week or chapter or topic of your course. Let's add a couple of modules here. Week 1, and week 2. And then add the relevant content to each module. Here in week 1, I'll add a new page called Week 1 Topics. And edit it. And save it. I'll go back to Modules and add assignments to Week 1. There's a new assignment called Getting to Know You, which I'll edit. This is a text entry assignment, and I'll save it. return to the modules page and add another assignment to week one called canvas inbox check and edit that and save that as well. I'll return to modules and continue to do the same for week two. Once your modules are set up, Canvas will add navigation for you. When I go to week one topics, I have a next button here, which will take me to the next item in that module. I can then go to the next item in the module or back to the previous one. Let's move forward and forward again to week two and so on. Let's return to the modules page. What happens if something isn't where you want it in the module? Here I have the week two topics after the assignment and that's not the order I want. To fix that I use this eight dot icon and drag the item to its proper location. Canvas will automatically update the navigation for me. When I go to Canvas Inbox Check and click Next, it takes me to Week 2's first item, which is now in the correct order. What happens if you've started, or inherited, a course that has stacks of materials without modules? No problem. Create the modules that you need, and add the relevant items to the module. 
when I add page to week one, I can make a new page and I'll also see all the existing pages and I'll put week one topics into week one and for assignments I'll take getting to know you and canvas inbox check. For week two I go to my pages and add week two topics and the relevant assignment for that week. And that's how you take a pile of materials and put it into modules to provide your students with clear, straightforward navigation through your course.